My name is Statman and I'm here with Psycho Dyko. All the way from Australia, great to see you guys. Anyone back home, well done for being up at 5am. <laughs> Who shouldn't be up at 5am to see Australia skate against France? This is for group championship. And believe it or not, right now Australia is, if there were a wild card, three points over Team USA. Whoa. Team USA with a plus minus of 814. Australia on 817. So right now, Australia are leading this tournament. Wow, that's pretty amazing for Australia. They came from fifth position at the Men's Roller Derby World Cup two years ago. Uh, at which they came fifth, France came fourth. That's so this correct. will also be a little bit of a grudge match, as well as both trying to be number one in the blue playing group. Now, both of these teams have already clinched a trip to the quarterfinals. The question is now, who will they play against? Which side of the bracket will they be on? And it's almost a bittersweet pill because the winner here is on the U.S. side of the bracket. The loser here goes to the opposite side of the bracket. Yeah. Now, Australia's plus minus versus USA's. If I were an Aussie fan, I wouldn't be too worried right now. No, Aussies are doing absolutely sensationally. And it's, so the winners are likely to play Wales at 11 a.m. on track two. That's this one here, the Sisu track. And the losers are likely to play Canada at 9 a.m. on the nerd track, which is track one. That's correct. So it'll be interesting to see how this one plays out. Australia have been playing really well, but both teams, three wins, zero losses. That's correct. It makes it a great rubber match. You know, we love it when it comes down to one match to rule them all. Next door, uh, we've got Germany versus Wales. If Wales win it, and this one's fun too, if Wales win it, Wales go through to the quarterfinals as second place. If Germany win it, Mexico go through because Mexico are doing 100 points better plus minus than Wales. Wow, so that'll be a very tough one in there. I'm, I'm sure uh, Mexico will be in there cheering on I Germany. saw them all walking in. <laughs> Looks like we're gonna have Skate Pilgrim up against the cleaner back here on the Nerd Skates Jammer Line. And we are three seconds away from Roller Derby. We're underway. Skate Pilgrim deciding to play a little defense. Now he dives in, he's got offensive assistance working up at the front. France with a three wall. One of France work forced to recycle. Meanwhile, all four from Australia holding back the cleaner. Freaky Vincent trying to throw some offense. Australia two to beat, one to beat. Skate Pilgrim, your lead jammer. Skate Pilgrim has been skating fantastically well all weekend, but hot on his heels, we have the cleaner from France. But France down to three blockers left on the track. Skate Pilgrim taking the quick, hitting good at points. I think we'll see with the 30 minutes derby. And being so close, we will see a lot of that happening here in this game. I believe you're right. You know, these 30 seconds in between jams is a great way to kill clock. If you assume you're gonna lead, if you are in the lead, call those jams early. Yeah. Waste that time with non-skating time. A lot of the teams are really working those 30 seconds as long as they can, especially pulling the team timeouts with the 30-minute games. There is no clock stoppage at all. And we have Sausage Rolls rolling out for Team Australia against Sungul Aku and Sausage Rolls gets out in front with the lead for Team Australia. Sausage Rolls was such a great standout back in Birmingham in 2014. It's great to see him back on the track doing what he does well. And this is going to be a Roller Derby Athletics Power Jam. Sangula Ko on his way to the penalty box. Sausage Rolls getting to solo out there. Sausage Rolls deciding he's had enough for trying to work his way through the pack, but we will start with the Rolly W Athletics power start for Team Australia. Absolutely, and he picked up all five, which was very smart by Sausage Rolls. Once he knew he had all five, don't fight for them again. You can only score a point once. Go ahead and kill it. Exactly, no point in wearing yourself out for dead points. Well, this is what I love about watching Australia. They're very strategic. They know the rules of this game. They know them very, very well. Why not play smart like that? They do play very smart, Derby. They have a very tight team, Team Australia. And we've got Dirty Five rolling out on the Roller Derby Athletics power start and busting through to get the lead straight away. And we've still got over 10 seconds in, left in this Roller Derby Athletics power jam. There we go, 10 second warning. If this were hockey, they'd be drumming on the boards right now. <laughs> Gonna look to pick up a bunch of points. Remember, his opponent is still on his initial pass. So if Australia are technical as I think they are, they're gonna let France go for a pass before anything is called off. Absolutely, they're gonna be trying to hold him as high as he can, but he's done the star stash and made his way through. And, and 
this is a power jam going back the other way. No, it's not. Back on the track is being signaled. So Dirty Five going to return to the track. A little bit of confusion here. Meantime, four points for Sangalako. Wow. While he, while he was off the track, Dirty Five did look very confused, and he tried to call it, realized he had to get himself back in. Five points for Dirty Five. So this will go as a one-point advantage for Team Australia. The Australian coach into the middle to ask what the issue was. Tui Lyons, a uh, former VRDL skater, now with Angel City. That's correct. And she was part of Team Australia last time around, wasn't she? She was indeed. When I saw her on the coaching roster, I knew we were going to see a stronger, cleverer Australia. And France now out in front got themselves the lead. Hot on their heels, though, is Kate Pilgrim from Team Australia. Oh, that's a great job by France bursting forward. He's going to be forced to call it off, though. It will be a scoreless jam. That's the one thing I've definitely seen with Team Australia. If they do lose the lead, they are very quick to chase down that jammer. Well, their switch from defense to offense. Here we go. Let's take a look at this again. Look at how fast he's coming through. Bounces off the Australian with a beautiful catch. Squeezes through. There we go. And that was an earlier jam, so you got to see Australia pick up lead. Great job absorbing those hits. Now we got Poopa Test against Sausage Rolls. Poopa Test, one of those jammers you don't need to check it. That great hair, you don't need to check his number. No, he definitely stands out for a mile away. And looks like we've got a no pass, no penalty for Sausage Rolls, so he's going to have to skate as fast as he can. Doesn't quite make it in time before Poopa Test calls it off. That was a great job by Poopa Test. He never stops. That guy has so much stamina. And Tui Lyon back into the center to ask for why that was a no pass, no penalty. Not it, one single thing will get past her, that's for no, sure. She's, she's got her eyes on the prize <laughs> here at the Men's Roller Derby World Cup. Well, that's how you coach successfully. Meanwhile, Dirty Five up against the cleaner getting ready for this next jam on the Nerd Skate Shop jammer line. And we're underway. Dirty five at the back, the cleaner up at the front, getting a little bit of offensive assistance. Let's see if France can work this jam. They are in pole position right now. A great wall by the French, and we are through France with lead jam status. Dirty five now. Thought he saw an opening around the outside. He hasn't quite made his way through the pack, but he's just out, just as the cleaner hits for his scoring pass. So France definitely going to pick up some points here. Let's see how well managed. Signal from the bench to call it. It was in time. Three to nothing on the jam. Good pickup for France. Great pickup there for France. They definitely need to squeeze as many points out as they can when they've got that lead position. Australia are just going for the throat, in for the kill. <laughs> well, you but have to. It's, it's win or, you know, this one's win or lose. There's no points difference to play for. There's no wild card, crazy scenarios. That's right. This one is first or second of the blue skating division. Well, and that's one of the advantages with the way this tournament has been structured is that it's just on wins, losses. No points ranking. You know exactly who you play against. Meantime, lead jammer status awarded to France, not lead out here for Skate Pilgrim. Coming around, France will call it off. I wasn't sure if he realized he had the lead there for a second, but he did get the call from the sideline to call that one off. Skate Pilgrim had realized he wasn't the lead and had his afterburners on, that's for sure. That, you have to when you're not lead. Now remember, if you want to have a chat to us, we do have the Twitter feed up live, so hashtag MRDWC. We will do shout outs if you let us know that you are watching. We want to hear from you. We're on Sisu Track 2, so make sure you let us know that you're watching live as Sausage Rolls and Rocket Bush. And this one is anybody's lead jammer, both of them on the floor at the front of the pack. Somebody's on their way to the penalty box. I still don't know who yet. It looks like it's going to be Team Australia. He's going to be called for the low block, Sausage Rolls. So we have ourselves a Roller Derby Athletics Power Jam for France, Rocket, Rocket Bush. But it's a Power Jam without a lead jammer yet. Now we have lead, he is out of the pack. But that's a good, what, seven or eight seconds of that power jam. 
There was a great penalty kill by Australia. Australia doing really well to hold him on. France? Rocket, Rocket Bush just communicating with his blockers exactly where he wanted them. Great work there. Clean sweep as he goes through for the big five points. He calls it off as Sosa Drolls stands up in the penalty box. Teamwork to make the dream work, right? Exactly, that's what you need, and that's what we've got going on here. Tight work for both teams. It's a one-point game now, thanks to that Roller Derby Athletics Power Jam. And here we go, Poopa Test is gonna take the solo start. I think it's gonna be six or seven seconds left. The, the Australia Jammer is standing, that Sausage Roll standing in the Roller Derby Athletics Power Jam. So who knows, Poopa Test gonna have to work quickly. Australia holding their tight three at the front of the pack. And France trying to clear in house, but not quite getting that open space for Pupitas. Sausage rolls now back. Trying to charge his way through, and he's been called for a cut on the inside line. So we have another Roller Derby Athletics power jam for Pupitas. Still not got the lead, though. That's correct. A beautiful wall by Australia. Let's see how the France offense helped Correct this, get Poopa Test out. And wow. with the 4-2, pack disadvantage to France. They managed to get him out for the lead. He looks pretty happy on the way around. <laughs> he went there. airborne off of that one. Brilliantly done. Now he's coming in for points. Sausage Roll standing in the penalty box. So this Roller Derby Athletics Power Jam is waning. Great penalty kill by Australia. Currently a pointless penalty kill. Sausage rolls now back on the track, and France have just lost one of their blockers to the bin as well. Oh. And we still have Sausage rolls is now out. Pupitas does have the lead, yes, yeah, and he has some points. We don't know how many until he calls it. Now we do. He has four, but we knew he had the points going in there because he had been bounced around the Australian wall so well. He had to have passed somebody. Absolutely, but he was holding on. I'm not sure if he was trying to get the five. Who knows? I think it was just the commitment to keep skating forward. Earns him four points, so France now with the lead. This game is going to turn into a barn burner, I tell you what. It's going to be back and forth all the way down to the wire. And Skate Pilgrim back on the line for Team Australia. Looks like he's getting ready. Oh, I thought he was going to put on a little bit of... Uh, <laughs> a little bit of defensive work there against the cleaner, but instead he's charging forward to try and find his way through at the front. And it looks like a good tactic for him with a no pack. He's being pushed at the front. There's some whistles, lead jammer status. It looks like some folks watching down in Australia. Glad you're enjoying it at 5 a.m. What a better way to wake up than waking up with roller derby. Absolutely, and a big hello there to Bob to quickly. Wish you were here, Bob. And nice work there from Skate Pilgrim, shutting him down. We've had another lead change with the four points on the board for Team Australia. This and next none for France. This next jam brought him trying to pick up some points. Beautifully ducked under. That's going to be a full four for Australia. None for France. Important jam there. Well done by Australia. Excellent duck down low and go, go, go from Dirty Five. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> Most exciting game so far at the Men's Roller Derby World Cup. We've got with Australia versus Team France. Shout out there to Sniper. Good morning or evening, wherever you may be. 21-16, the score now in favor of Australia. First jam in three, not to have a lead change. <laughs> Meantime, Rocket Bush up against Skate Pilgrim. Skate Pilgrim, we have a lead jammer status. The whistle blown just as he went down. I wasn't sure if there was going to be a cut call on the inside. <laughs> oh, nice pirouette from the, there from Skate Pilgrim, just absorbing that hit. Ooh, beautiful dodge there by Rocket Bush. Skate Pilgrim still going to call it off and take a grand slam. You're yeah. not kidding. This is the most exciting game so far. Absolutely. And thank you to Belinda uh, at Kitty Hawk P40. Go Aussies up early in Tassie watching coach Sausage. Sausage Rolls did ask me to give you a little shout out to uh, DSDL Devil State Derby League, his former league, where he first started out, and also to VRDL, his current league. <laughs> this is what I love about roller derby. It's one of the great equalizers. I don't know a lot about Australia, but Tasmania, not the biggest state, not the most populous state, yet one of the best, especially in men's roller derby in the whole country. 
That's impressive. It's very impressive. Sausage Rolls is one of the best in Australia for the men's at the moment. Um, I believe he made the world team at the 2014 Men's Roller Derby World Cup. I believe, I believe he did as well. And as I recall, he's going to skate for the Men's World Cup All-Stars down at RollerCon. That's absolutely fantastic. Representing the Aussies out there, go Sausage Rolls. <laughs> so, you couldn't choose somebody better to represent you, you know? No, absolutely not. At Little Miss Fang says, was not expecting such a close game from France and Australia, but by golly, it's good. And yes, it is. We're absolutely loving it up here. <laughs> Hashtag truth right there. <laughs> We're going to have Poopa Test up against Sausage Rolls here to start this next jam on the Nerd Skate Shop Jammer Line. Five second warning. Australia at the back, France at the front, and we're underway. A little bit of a jammer on jammer stare down right there. Poopa Test was definitely not intimidated at all by Sausage Rolls. It's hard to intimidate Poopa Test. There's a multiplayer block being called. I don't see anyone on their way to Sinbin yet for it. Just saw the hand signal. Oh, we have a cutting penalty on Sausage Rolls. Roller Derby Athletics Power Jam. Going back the other way. But we have Poopa Test now also. He's been called for a high block, so we will have a jammer jammer in and out tag team race. This one's going the full two minutes. I almost wish we had a little sound effect for that. The full <laughs> two minutes. <laughs> All right, and Sausage Rolls here working up. He's got two at the front. Little forearms call helps him get through that wall. Here we go, lead jammer. Right, no, not lead jammer, he's got points. Nope, uh, I think that was actually just our initial pass <laughs> off for both jammers. I'm so just getting the... excited. <laughs> Roller derby, yay. Yeah. <laughs> and the pack is definitely taking up, picking up some speed there. Beautiful job by Skarenix to just tap Sausage Rolls out. Poupa test, airmail, or Beautiful however you say word. that in French. Par avion. <laughs> I know Very that one because nice. it's printed on airmail. <laughs> yes. Sausage Rolls also picking up a full four. Beautifully done. Got 3-3 three, three even packs. France trying to shut down Team Australia. The Wizards very quick to reform out in front. I think that's Flamin' Galar and Synaptic Kid. Skernick's doing a beautiful job. Last second defense. Picks up a penalty on Sausage Rolls. It's a forearms call. He celebrates that penalty. Oh, and every point counts at this stage, so I can understand him being very excited about that one. So we've got another Roller Derby Athletics Power Jam, the second of this jam. Australia 30, France 20. That is about to change again. Sorry for anybody experiencing issues. The internet is not perfect. It's a real thing, unfortunately. So, 34-25 in favor of Australia. Nine points separating these two teams. And the cleaner lining up for a Roller Derby Athletics power start on the Nerd Skate Jammer line here on Sisu Track 2. And France doing the starting on both sidelines. We saw Wales do that earlier in this tournament. It's working well for France. Only one to beat, now none to beat. Lead Jammer status. Now we have Sausage Rolls standing in the penalty box, getting ready to come back out on track. Australia with a 4-3 back advantage. They're still working them around. It's a meat grinder out there on the cleaner. And Means Sausage Rolls has now come through for his initial pass. We'll see if the uh, cleaner lets him come around again. That's right, the cleaner has off. lead. He's calling it off. He'll pick up four, none for Sausage Rolls. He did not go airborne before the jam was called. Tried his best, but couldn't quite get there in time. And that will close the gap to five points between these two teams. 34 Australia, 29 France. What a heck of a game we have here. I'm excited to be here on the Sisu Pack. Massive cheer for France, massive cheer for Australia. This We've, is the most people I've seen here on Sisu Track 2, actually, I think, all weekend so far. I think you're right. And we're going to see some excitement here later today. We're going to see some excitement here tomorrow because, of course, half of the quarterfinals are on this track. It's going to be a thriller. It is indeed. And, and we've got Australia out in front with the lead. And France just busting their way through the pack. Skate Pilgrim shaking his head on the way around. I'm not sure he was too happy with uh, his 
exit from the pack. Oh, he's getting bumped heavily, but picks up all four. One for France, nicked on the back end. Well done there by the French jammer. Just grabbing themselves some low hanging fruit on their way around. Oh, it's nice to see an awesome job, dear announcers. We have a great experience here from MME Butcherfly. Thank you very much, Butcherfly. Madame Butcherfly, it's, That's it's French. That's one. Francais, oui. Francais. That's about all I know. Sorry, I'm Australian, we butcher <laughs> everything. <laughs> 35, not saying anything. Versus Rocket Push, 35 level to the outside. He's gonna be recycled to the back of the pack and goes slamming forward, beautifully done. 35 got some amazing acceleration out there. He's taking, I think it's his low stature. He's got that low mm. center of gravity. He just gets down and ducks through, but France out front with the lead. Rocket Bush just finding that outside gap. It's an eight point difference right now. This is prime time for France. They need points. Keep it live. 10 minutes left to go in this match. Winner, I mean, winner take all. It's beautiful. This is great. Recycle job here on France. The stars are down on Australia. 35 looks like he's going to try and stash that one to make his way through as he has no pivot on track, so he won't be doing a pass. And Team France, Rockerbush just trying to get the uh, cut there, but well, it was called a, a no pass, no penalty. It's a stash for now, but the pivot has just re-entered the track. Full five for France. So that'll cut the lead to three. Australia, correct me if I'm wrong, still on an initial pass. He is still on his initial pass, trying to find his way out. 35, and he's just squeezed out now. So if France can put up three more, we would have a tie game. Rocket Bush picks up a full four so lead we, change. We will have another lead change, 39-38. And we've got Little Miss Bang. Woo, this is Australia versus France is making me a bit sweaty. Yeah, <laughs> same up here. And it's not, well, it is slightly warm in here, but also it's this action is getting hot. This action is getting hot. What a, you got to see that again back at home. Beautiful play in that jam. I'm loving the fact that we have instant replay. <laughs> it's excellent. Skate Pilgrim back here against Poopa Test. The fact that you can just see something again is so wonderful. Cape Pilgrim versus Poopa Test. Poopa Test storming through the party like his name is El Nino, picking up that coveted lead jammer status. Skate Pilgrim juking his way around. He's now without his way out of the track. And he's safely out of the pack, which <laughs> he was worried about for a second. It did look like he was going to cut the forearm penalty, but uh, she's just let him keep going. It did, and three points out there for Poopa Test and France. France now extending that lead out, 42 to 38, four points in it. This is gonna come down. To, we have, what, just over eight minutes to go? This is <laughs> all the way down. I think this last jam, come I'm just gonna have to lay under the table and close my eyes. Here we go. Let's, here's an instant replay from the other track, Ireland versus USA. Well, neat little play there from Ireland versus USA. The cleaner versus um, Skate Slinger out here on the nerd skate shop jammer line first time with the star uh in this game here for skate slinger so it took me a moment <laughs> i saw skate and almost said skate pilgrim meantime both jammers working hard two wall up at the front skate slinger one to beat he is lead important lead jam for australia four it's, points behind the australian block is doing an amazing job of just Holding on to France Jammer at the back. Here he goes now. Stash to star as Skate Slinger comes flying through for a big five point pass. We will have another lead change. And France is through. So that five point pass, as you say, is a lead change. Australia with the opportunity to get a second scoring pass in against France's diet pack. Just two blockers. Calls it off a full four. Quatre points to France. I just had to do that at least once. I love it. So Australia are going to claim the lead. Nine points on the jam, 47 plays 42. Seven minutes in the game, five points separate these two teams. I've got to remember to keep breathing. I keep holding my breath, it's so <laughs> close. It's so tight. I'm going to get lightheaded. If you just hear a big thump, that's just me hitting the ground. But it's all right, Statman will keep you 
up to date. I'll do control. my best. You know, Psycho, we knew this was going to be good, but did you think it was going to be this I good? I didn't think it was going to be this tight. I mean, this is the first game I've seen this far in with under 50 points on the board for either team. And keep in mind, both we have a lead jammer status to France. He's getting recycled, though. Beautiful job by those Aussies to bring him back into the pack. That was Dirty Five, the jammer, chasing down the France jammer. <laughs> This is great. And keep in mind, both of these teams are going to the knockout. So this is a preview of what the next two days hold at this Men's Roller Derby World Cup 2016. If this is what we're going to be seeing for the next two days, you oh. want to keep here with us live on the Men's, World, Men's Roller Derby World Cup feed and stopping zero points. Double donuts, first time. Now Sangala Ko waiting to call it off. Personally, would not have done that. The it, clock is not in France's favor right now. They need to call early and get the lead back again. That's it. He used a lot of energy trying to fight his way through, but he was still recycled back on his initial. He hadn't even come around for his scoring. So, so that's I, a lot of time lost there for France. And once Australia had broken that pack, I, in my opinion, you call that right away. Rocket Bush now against Skate Pilgrim back here on the Nerd Skate Shop Jammer line. Both of them away. Looks like France with the wall at the front, Australia with the wall at the back, Australia with lead jammer status. This is vital. It was a huge hit there. I believe that was Rampage and Mr. Spear working together to get a Rocky Bush out on the outside. And I'm chuckling because Scare Nix was going in for a heavy block on an Australia blocker who was already in the queue for the penalty box <laughs> and left the track as Scare Nix was going in to hit him. Just a little bit of a miscommunication there. That was amusing. So pulling off the jam there, Skate Pilgrim as Rocket Bush was coming around to try and get some points, but three for the Aussies and none for Team France. So that's going to be an eight-point jam overall in favor of Australia. This might be the biggest lead of the game. Here we go. Let's take a look at this again. Another replay from Ireland versus USA. And we're back, Australia versus France. If you're not watching Australia versus France, you're missing a killer close game and some 41 references from the announcers. Thank Hello. you very much, <laughs> the Ari says. Does that mean we have to drop more some 41 references? I think we might need to. <laughs> now, Lead jammer status is going to poop a test right now, but whoa, we have a double lead jammer status. A Little bit of a miscue out there between Team Zebra. Poop test calls it off. Ending the miscommunication, Tui Lyon going in there a little bit upset, as you would expect. Absolutely. With the game this side and this much on the line, I mean, you you would definitely, I would be disappointed if I didn't see Tui Lyon walking out there. As would I. Now, from, from what I saw, the first jammer to get lead jammer is the lead jammer. And lead jammer was awarded to Poopa Test a good two or three seconds. But I think the confusion was that Poopa Test got knocked out on the inside and recycled back. And the other jammer ref might not have seen the lead jammer. Absolutely. Call. So these things happen. And here we go. We are back underway. This it, We have only just over three minutes remaining in this contest. 13 points separate these teams. Australia with a slight lead, but France's jammer up at the front. Lead jammer status to France and 1631. That is the cleaner. Dirty five has just squeezed his way out of the pack though. The cleaner trying to call it off, but he was called for the back block. So we now have ourselves a roller derby athletics power jam for dirty five from Team Australia. That's a huge opportunity for France blown. They ha had the ability right here to get back into this game. 13 point game, that's three jams. Easy to get back in. Now you're on a power jam. You're giving up a power jam. This is gonna be hard for France. That's it, they do have the pack advantage, but Dirty Five with the assist from Mr. Spew making his way through. The cleaner did look pretty disappointed with himself as he was trying to call that one off and getting the uh, no go head to the penalty box from the referees now keep in mind this is going the full two minutes 50 seconds left in this jam which means this jam will end with under two minutes left on the clock means now, anything can happen though like we had a 44 point jam earlier on today so you never know what's going to happen here at men's roller derby world cup nope. and dirty five has now been called for a cut no his jammer rep is calling him back on saying a no pass no penalty Good reaction. He does a beautiful job keeping his hips just behind Candelero as he comes back onto the track. 
avoids the cutting penalty, which Kandel was campaigning for. They were trying so hard to try and get that on 35, but he did an excellent job in ducking his way around again. 15 points so far in this jam for Australia. This is what they need just to take it home. Just stretching that lead out now for Team Australia as the jam is called. 15 points there for 35 and seven. Uh, sorry, 18 points there for 35 and seven on the board for the cleaner. So let's take a look at the clock. This next jam is going to start with under a minute remaining. It is likely the last jam. If Australia pick up lead jammer status, you bet your butt it will be the last jam. They're not going to call it until that period clock has been expired for exactly one second. And then it'll be over. Skate Pilgrim against Sangala Ko. Sangala Ko airlifting the stars. We got a star pass. So lead jammer still open, but they're going to recycle Skate Pilgrim. Kilian Kroll, sometimes known, he is going around. He is going to try to score some points. He's got four with a no pass, no penalty. This is crazy. The crowd are going nuts. Four big points on the board for France. And they are down by 20. So it's going to be four fives or five fours to get Kylian Kroll and France over the line against Australia. It's all to play for with a minute and 20 seconds left. And Skate Pilgrim currently has the star stash in his hand, trying to find his way through for his initial pass. Kylian Kroll, another five. And we have a star pass, so this jam going the full two minutes. Holy cow. That synaptic kid putting on the star there for Team Australia. The period clock has expired. If you love rugby, it's gone red. We are on the jammer clock. Under one minute left on the jam clock. Ooh, I need to breathe. Nine points for France, zero for Australia. Both of these jammers being recycled. We've got a clockwise jam for a second there. Both teams standing on their benches. Kylian Kroll. Picks up three with a double nap, no pass, no point, four for Australia. Synaptic Kid was yelling out some very fierce instructions to his blockers there, telling him exactly where he wanted the position on the track. So, and Synaptic Kid looked like he was going to line up. Killian Crow for a second there. Killian Crow, sorry. It's all right. <laughs> we do the best we can. We could also call him Furio. That's his normal roller derby name. And it's four up there for Killian. 65 plays, 77, down to 12 points, 10 seconds. Air mail. Waiting for the call. It's going to be five, but there's the whistle. Operation too little, too late for Killian Crow. We're going to have to wait. He is on the track down. His teammates coming out to cheer him on. If you miss this game, I think you've missed one of the best games we have had so far here at the Men's Roller Derby World Cup. It's an emotional finish for the losing team. The French are almost as celebratory as the Australians are here. Showing that amazing French spirit, 79 plays 70. That is your final, wait, I thought I heard a, a rolling whistle. Still, we're unofficial final, both teams celebrating both teams celebrating. Both teams celebrating because that was an amazingly fantastic and keep your eye on the screen. We got something special coming up for you right about now. We have gone final by the way. So we've got a special message for you right now. Ladies and gentlemen, just before we go anywhere, we have a very special moment. Charles, Charles Bell, Charles. J'ai quelque chose à te dire. Ça fait 9 ans que je te connais et ça faisait quelque temps que j'avais envie de te le demander. Donc voilà. Est-ce que tu veux m'épouser Je t'aime Merci, bravo à tous.
For those of you who missed that, we have just had our second ever Men's Roller Derby World Cup marriage proposal. And he said yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was a great bout and a great way to finish a bout. It doesn't get any better than a marriage proposal after a, an exhilarating bout of roller derby like that. I think that's the best bout we've seen, so that was definitely deservedly so. All right. My name is Champ Unkind. I am Jax Blue. And we hope you have a decent day. Thank you. Coming up, coming up next on this track, we will see Belgium taking on the Netherlands. So don't go anywhere. Hello and welcome back to the Sisu studio here at the Men's Roller Derby World Cup. 2016 live from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. My name's Panda. My mother calls me Bob Noxious. <laughs> okay, so we're going to be heading over to track one in a few minutes uh, where we're going to see Canada playing Spain. Uh, let's talk about what's just happened on track two though. We had Team Australia and Team France play with the closest game of the tournament. Uh, Team Australia taking the win 79 to 70, just nine points in it. It was down to the last few seconds. Well, and the thing is, with every, with all the build-up, this was one of those games that actually turned out to be what the scores, the numbers, and the 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 uh, play on the track predicted. So uh, that that makes it twice as exciting, right? <laughs> it wasn't a letdown. It was very much what we had hoped. But when we spoke to the guys from Team France a little bit earlier on today, they said that was the game that they were most looking forward to. And, and you can see why. That was a really well fought game and it was quite a quite furious game yeah. from both of the teams. Oh, I believe it, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, thoughts on uh, Canada-Spain as we move into that game on track one? Uh, well, I mean, Canada's already in. It's locked up. Spain is already out. Um, Spain, Spain is, uh, I believe, 0-3 at this point. Yeah. Uh, they're just outmatched. <laughs> You know, you hate to say that about anybody that makes a trip, puts in the effort. It's, it's really hard. But but right now, they're just not in a good position to, to play Canada. Absolutely. So um, that's going to be the next game here on track one. Uh, over on track two, the next game will be Belgium versus the Netherlands. That would be, again, a good, a pretty even matchup. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, Team yeah. Belgium have had a relatively good run. Yeah, we know that, uh, well, Belgium Belgium is not going to make it. They are not going to advance. But Belgium could come away two and two. Uh, that means that uh, it'll, it'll put them in a position, in the positional rounds, to play for a higher seed. Um, and uh, the Netherlands, at this point, haven't won a game. No. And they've really, they've had some tough, I mean, when you have to play Australia and France mm -hmm. in the same bracket, I mean, unfortunately, with those two games alone, they what was the point total? Like 10 or less, something like that. Yeah. So, um, but it's it's what they do in the positional rounds I, that, that might be able to improve themselves a little bit. Though, what they do in the pool sort of does kind of uh, is, kind of has a, pre, a predisposition as to what kind of games they're gonna be put into and what kind of places they're gonna fall into. Yeah. Um, so the next game on track two is going to be Belgium versus the Netherlands. Toward the end of the day, that, that means that we've got the green group last game on track one now. And that's blue group's last game. Um, and then we've just got red group and orange group to go to complete the shorter games, the pool games. Um, and then from 7 o'clock and 7.15, uh, my time, that's time here in Calgary, then we're going to have the, the full regulation MODA games, and that will be for fourth place out of each of the groups. Yep, we'll, uh, we'll also have a full uh, length uh, uh, juniors game. Yep. Uh, that will come up right after the final uh, pool play games, which I think start at four o'clock. Yeah. Uh, in fact, the very last game in pool play will be Argentina and Sweden, both at two and one. Mm -hmm. And basically the winner will come out of there uh, as the second seed, or the se not the second seed, but the second to advance to the uh, to the road to the cup. Right. All right. Any thoughts on uh, teams for the uh, fourth place games already? We know 
pretty much know that Germany is going to be in that game at 7.15 on track two. Yeah, I, you know, quite honestly, at this point, my, my sights are set on Argentina and Sweden. Right. To see how that uh, pool uh, finishes, finishes itself out. Mm -hmm. To see if Argentina, who didn't have the kind of game that they probably wanted in both situations, can, can come and close out a team like Sweden that all of a sudden is starting to pull it together. Yeah. So I think it's, it's going to be a really great mm -hmm. game, and, and there's so much riding on it. It's going to be fantastic. How about um, track one, group blue and red groups? Um, so we've got, we got toward the bottom of the, the group in the red group, we've got uh, Team Japan, Team Scotland. Yeah, um, and again, the, they're going to be playing for positions. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're really down at this point to wanting to know, well, we know that Wales won. Actually, we should talk about that. Wales won in the green in the green pool. That puts they and Canada into uh, they will advance to the knockout phase uh, for the cup. Uh, so that means Spain, Germany, and unfortunately Mexico, who played their butts off, uh, are uh, going to play for positional rounds. But Mexico being in a very good position mm -hmm. to play the positional rounds. Um, and uh, so that orange, that orange pool is the only one we have left. And again, it comes down to one more game. Absolutely. Um, backtracking slightly on what you were just uh, talking about there, the Wales-Germany game that we just had on track one. Um, a really hard and well-fought game from Team Germany. They upped their game yes, for this absolutely. one. Yes, um, absolutely. It was a 125 win for Wales versus Germany's 60, but yep. they really earned those points. Yeah. Um, very, very good, strong gameplay. Like the best I think we've, we've, that we've seen from them so far. And then yep. we had an interview um, with one of the guys as well, that, and he said it was by far his most enjoyable game to, to, to this point. Um, yeah. Any thoughts on best game of the day so far? I, well, I don't think I don't think you can argue Australia France. Pretty close, huh? Uh, from a quality standpoint, we know that at least one of those. I mean, it would be hard to believe that one of those two teams is not top four by the time this is done, if not higher. So uh, to have a, a game of that caliber this early is is uh, pretty exceptional. Um, so we're going to hand over to our colleagues on track one now. Uh, the game will be starting in the next minute and five seconds. Thank you. Thank you.